I'm going to throw out these scriptures to you, and so you can go ahead, write them down, or mark them somewhere in your Bible, because we'll flip to them, and we're going to read through them. So here we go. We're going to go, uh, oh, somebody's from Oasis Church? Oh, okay, sweet. Um, Pastor um, Barney Huey, love him. Matthew 28, 12 through 20. Mark 16, 14 through 18. Oh, Steve's from Texas. Come on, brother. Praise the Lord. Got some natives on here. Luke 24, 49. And then I'm just going to talk about John. So Matthew 28, 18 through 20. If you're ready for the PY, tell me right now. Don't forget about the stars. Don't forget about all that other stuff on there. Uh, hearts and like. Comment as much as possible. And we declare that this word is going to do something mag remarkable in your life today. Amen. Amen. Here we go. Matthew chapter 28, 18 through 20. The, uh, the title of today is called The Morning After. Mm -hmm. Yesterday was Easter. We do a huge buildup. Passion Week. Or we do Palm Sunday, Passion Week, all the way up to the cross, death, burial, resurrection. But I, I, the Lord said, what about the day after? All right. Here we go. The day after resurrection. So, Jesus, Matthew 28, 18 through 20, says this. Remember, every time we're on here, we're looking for 2,000 stars, so you guys help us do that. Jesus came and spoke to them, them being who? The disciples, saying, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. So Jesus is telling them, I have now received all authority. Mm -hmm. I have the authority of heaven. I have the authority on earth. All authority has been given to me. Now I'm giving authority to you. Go. As soon as he said go, these disciples shifted into apostles. Come on. This is where the, the shift became from a disciple to an apostle. Go, therefore, making disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things mm -hmm. that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. All of this is a direction towards the apostles and the fivefold ministry. Okay. All of this. Matthew is talking from an apostolic point of view. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's talking from a fivefold point of view here in Matthew 28, 18 through 20. All right, here we are. And he's telling them. Go make disciples. You're an apostle. Go baptize them in the name of the Father, Son. Teach. So we see. Here we go. We see making disciples is a part of the fivefold. Teaching, a part of the fivefold. Observing all things, commandments, telling the people what to, how they are to react. This is how, what to do. But commanding them to stay with them. And then Jesus says, lo, meaning always, I am with you. Mm -hmm. I am with you always. Always, I am with you always even to the end of the age, all right? Then we go over to Mark. Mm -hmm. Mark 16, 14 through 18 says, and later he appeared, Jesus, to the 11. We only have 11 because Judas killed himself and we haven't met up into Acts chapter three where we find Mathis. As they sat at the table, so now Jesus is sitting at a table eating with the disciples. He's not eating, but he's sitting there with them. He rebukes them. The day after he comes out the grave, he rebukes them for their unbelief and their hardness of heart. Wow. Because he said, you did not believe that I told you I would be resurrected. You did not believe the people that I showed myself to when they came to you. So I'm rebuking you because of their hardness of heart and because they did not believe those wow. who had seen him after he was risen. And he said to the apostles, go. Here we go again. Apostolic. Go into all the world. Preach the gospel to every creature. This is to the fivefold. Right. All right. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. So you have an apostle, uh, a part of the fivefold, mm -hmm. somebody that is leading somebody to Christ. Can other people lead people to Christ? Absolutely. Yes. That's, mm -hmm. that's what we want to shift the church into a place of where they are not just responsible or not putting the responsibility upon the pastor when it was not the pastor's responsibility to do this. Mm -hmm. The pastor's responsibility was to preach the gospel, teach the gospel to every creature. 
Now, he who believes and is baptized is saved. Here we go. Are you ready for this? But he who does not will be condemned. Right. And these signs, I preached this before, but I really want to show you something that God showed me that I've never seen before. These signs will follow believers. Right. Not just the fivefold ministry. Christian preached on this. Not this. You go, I'm going to show you something. In Jesus' name, all believers can cast out demons. It doesn't just say can, it says will. In the name of Jesus, they will speak with new tongues. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, they will take up serpents. In the name of Jesus, if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. In the name of Jesus, they will lay hands upon the sick and they will recover. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Six times Jesus says they. Six is the number of man. Six times Jesus says, I'm talking to you. Wow. Never seen it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times Jesus says, I'm talking to you. He's making a point. I'm making a point here. That these people that believe. Come on. They meaning you. So here we go. We're going to shift this thing. You believers, you're to cast out demons. You are to speak with new tongues. You are to take up serpents. You are, if you drink anything deadly, it's not going to hurt you. You are to lay hands on the sick. Yes. And you will see them recover. Yes. They will recover being the individual, but it's still the number six. Man. Come on. God said this will no longer just rest upon apostles, prophets, pastors, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. It has to rest upon the believer. Yes. This is the day after Easter. Okay. Now go over to Luke 24, 49. Luke 24, 49, pretty simple. What in the world? But great stuff. Behold. Hold on, just pause for a second. You're going so fast. I mean, we're 10 minutes in this, and you have, you flown. So pause for a second. Let everybody just kind of gather their thoughts in this. Gather your thoughts. Okay, so y'all understand, this is the day after Easter. His resurrection brings marching orders. Mm -hmm. His resurrection brings a command and a demand mm -hmm. on you, the people. Yep. So I'm receiving this and I'm hearing, oh gosh, I have my marching orders. Oh gosh, I have a command and a demand mm -hmm. of the Father. Mm -hmm. But so many people wake up on Preach Monday. Preach the gospel, baptize, and have them say, get them saved. So they wake up. On today, Monday, and it's just another day. And they're getting ready for... Thanksgiving and Christmas now. Now we're going into the next thing. No, we're going into Mother's Day. Oh, now, Mother's now Day. Now churches yeah. are preparing for Mother's Day. Come Seriously, on. Seriously, churches are preparing for Mother's Day. Easter's over. Now they're going to prepare for Mother's Day. But what they need over. to prepare for is to make disciples. Blah, 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 blah. What they need to prepare for is to cast out demons. What they need to prepare for is to speak in other tongues. This is what people need to be preparing for. Oh, my God. Are y'all getting this? Lord have mercy. Y'all. Okay, stop, stop. I never saw this. Well, there, neither did I. That's what I'm telling you. Okay. <laughs> Luke chapter 24, 49. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Behold, I send, here we go, the promise of my father. If you've ever wondered, do I have the promise of Father God? There it Come is. On. Absolutely. You walk in the promise. You are a part of the promise. You are in the promise. You have the promise. <laughs> The promise of Father God is, watch this. Yes. We're not looking for it. It's upon you. Did you hear what I just said? The promise is upon you. The promise is upon you. But tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you are endured with power from on high. Hold on. <sighs> watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. People get saved mm -hmm. Easter Sunday. Yep. The day after Easter, Jesus says, go tarry. So what he what we should be telling these people that are getting saved on Easter Sunday, you need to go tarry in the Word of God and seek the Holy Ghost. Yes. 
You need to go seek the Holy Ghost because the Holy Ghost is going to be poured out. And if you don't go seek him, you're going to miss the very power that you need. But tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high. Nobody got to go out until they were endued with power. You have to preach this the next week while we're I will. in Florida. I am. And, and let me just tell you, but but churches, and, and, and we've been guilty of doing the same thing. You know, you get people discipled in the word, but that whole baptism with power from on high we is wait something that is not... Later um, down the road. Or we don't want to become legalistic mm -hmm. in saying, well, you need this. You need to do this. But the word says you need this. Girl, boy, man of God, Woo! woman of God, you got to have the power from on high to make it through the go. day. Get those stars, folks. Come on. John, I'm not going to go through all of John. John's pretty long here because John is, I mean, he just, he says a lot of words. John speaks of Peter's restoration. Okay. So John focuses on restoration. Matthew focuses on the apostolic. Mark focuses on the believer. Luke focuses on the Holy Ghost. And John focuses on restoration. My God in heaven. Come on. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I just heard that. Matthew focuses on the apostolic <laughs> anointing. Apostolic. Uh, Mark focuses on the believer. Peter. Luke focuses on the Holy Ghost and John focuses on restoration. Y'all see how the Holy Ghost is speaking right here? I mean, while we're going through this? Yeah. So, here's my question, and I'm done. Today's the morning after. What are you going to do? Today is the morning after Easter. What are you going to do? Debodraka Sunday. Mm. Hallelujah. Folks, mm. go get in your word. Go pray. What are you going to do? Thank you for the stars, Nikki. What are you going to do? Golly, bum. I love this. Yes. I love getting revelation like this the day after. And then the Holy Ghost showing. Matthew speaking from the apostolic and from the apostolic perspective. Mark speaking from the believer's perspective. Luke speaking from the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. perspective, and John speaking on uh, from restoration. Yes. Before you can step into Jesus, the Jesus, greatness Jesus. that God has for your life. Now, Jesus. again, what are you going to do? Amen. Father, we love you and praise you. We thank Jesus. you for your word. We declare and decree that this word will go directly to the marrow of our bones. It's going to shift the very DNA of who we are, and we're going to look more like you and less like us. I pray no plague, no pestilence, no tragedy yes. come against the body of Christ this week. I declare yes. that they are blessed, highly favored in every manner, in every word, that God would do something miraculous. Father, that you would do something miraculous in each one of their lives, that the blessing of the Holy Spirit would be upon them. And that they would begin to think, pray, and seek what the disciples did. Thank you for the stars. Thank what you, the Shelley disciples Brown. did after yes. the day of Easter. It's not over, folks. If Easter was Resurrection Sunday, yes. Monday is the beginning of a new day. Yes. Monday is the beginning of something brand new new. Amen? Amen. All right, guys. Y'all have hey, a great week and a great day. Be blessed. I want to go ahead and let you guys know, if you have not partnered with this assignment yet, you need to partner with this assignment. Go to chrisworksministries.com forward slash partner. The link is provided here. We have exclusives that are coming up in May that are only for our partners, where we are having partners come into our home, um, where we are having private discipleship, guest speakers. It's just going to be, it's nothing fancy. We're going to have finger sandwiches, and Shelly Brown's coming to this first one, so I think she's smoking a whole lot of meat, or, or, Greg, no fingers in or Greg is, and, and, and we'll have to tell you our special diet, uh, uh, Shelly. <laughs> so, um, no, I don't but, know the special diet. 
Well, yeah. we are because we get fed like Hansel and Gretel when we go out to these churches yeah, because people want to fatten us up and eat us, I guess. So, so we have we got, watch what we eat. we've got this partner gathering in May and then we're going to have another one in July partner, and then partner, another partner. one in September. They were going to be every, partner, partner. they were going to be every quarter, but now they're pretty much going to be every other month the way that it's falling. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So praise God. And so, um, and plus there's so many people that are wanting to come. We're having to break them into small groups. You, so we need you Thank to you, partner with this assignment. So that way you can be a part of sending us, advancing the kingdom of God, receiving what it is the Lord has, not only for you, but what it means to sow into other people's lives, what it means to see their lives transformed. You can't go all the places that God is sending us, but whenever you sow seed into sending us, you're coming with us. You're joining and you're linking arms One with us. One day you will stand in heaven and someone yes. will say, because of the seed that you sown, I'm here. Yes. Because you sowed seed, that's why I'm standing in heaven right now. And I thank God yes. for that. All right, guys. We love you. Man, have a great day. A great yes. day, morning after, day after Easter. And we declare that this is going to be a fruitful week for you and uh, and for us. So we just declare it right now. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. No, will we? Or no? No. Tomorrow, we have a meeting in Knoxville, Tennessee. So we will not be able to be on here. But we'll be back on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And we will say hello Saturday while we're driving to Florida. Going to Florida, yeah. Love you. Uh, remember, if it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. Bye.